Hey, so this will be an example of uh, a filter we have called create object. So when you have a list of um, keys and a list of values and you want to be able to uh, create an object with those, um, you can use that filter. So let me go ahead uh, real quick. I'm just going to, I'll create a variable here. This will be our val or actually our keys, let's say. And I'll just create that list or array, right? So let's just say something like uh, name, city, age. We'll keep it simple. We'll just use that import JSON. You can just type in an array or object anytime on that value line, um, and it'll explode that out for you. Um, so first we have our keys. And I'll just go ahead and show you what that looks like. Just simply run this. So name, city, age. So just a list there. And then let's create our, what will be our values. And we'll just go ahead, we'll say something like uh, George, uh, Miami, and we'll say 25 for George. Okay, so those will be our values. Let's go ahead and I'll just also add this. Uh, to the response, and you can see we will have, so we just have two lists here. Here's our values, George Miami 25, and then we have our uh, keys, which will be name, city, age. So we can combine these two lists to make an object when we know our keys and values. Um, so let's go ahead and create a variable here. And the value, we'll first put in our lists that are going to be the keys. And then we'll just select Add Filter here. And let's just do search for Create Object. So it creates an object based on list of keys and a list of values. Uh, the values in here, we'll just find that values variable. And I'll hit Update. So first the list of keys, Create Object, and then the list of values. And let's go ahead and we will just return our var1 now. And we'll just do this as self. And now when we run this, we will get our object. So our keys list turned into our actual um, keys in an object, and then our values uh, matched up accordingly.